everybody in here and Miss Judy. Miss Judy's over there taking a nap. She, oh my gosh, she could not get snuggled close enough to me last night. Look at her. She's just such a sweet dog. But she's a handful. Anyway, sitting here having my coffee with all of you. Uh, today, I'm just going to kind of go look at things in my garden. And, I don't know, just see what uh, what the day brings. It's going to be a kind of a low-key day today, I can tell you that much. I need to work with the chickens a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to film that today because I've just got some decisions to make and some stuff to do. But um, anyhow, I wanted to thank a few of you. I see that a few of you have found the applause button on the videos. Now, this feature is still in beta. Um, some of you can see it, some of you can't. Not all channels are being offered this. Um, some are, some are not. They're just kind of testing it out right now. So um, I'm going to show you a screenshot of what it looks like. I think that you can only see it if you are viewing my videos on desktop. Um, now, I can see it, and I'm on my mobile phone, but I usually view my, um, my channel in desktop mode. So I don't know if everybody on mobile phones can see it. I don't even know if everybody on desktop can see it. Um, they're just rolling it out and so I don't know how to explain it. But anyhow, all you gotta do is click that little heart and I, I think it gives you some kind of animation or something. And um, it's basically giving the channel applause saying, good job, we like you. And I think that the only amount you can give is two dollars. So, um, I didn't even know that I was getting any applause until I noticed a little bump in, you know, uh, like AdSense. And it wasn't the ads. It, the revenue source was from the applause. So, thank you to all of you who have found that little button and who have thought enough of me to go like this. Now, I don't know which video it's on. Um, it does show the date that they come through, but it doesn't show who sent them. It doesn't show exactly which video was applauded. Um, so, I mean, I can go back and look through what day I got applause, but they may, have not, uh, they may not have applauded that particular video that was released on that day. All I know is thank you so much, whoever you are who are giving me the applause. Now, these are not on a live stream. These are on the day-to-day -day videos that just come out. You can now give applause and support the channel that way. So um, I hope you all can see that little thing. If you can't, that's okay. Just watching the videos and uh, leaving comments and whatnot. So that means an awful lot, you know. And over the last, uh, I want to say, three or four days, uh, I have noticed that I've been getting these applause. So thank you so very much. It means a lot, especially lately. Things have been, you know, a little weird. Um, but they're getting back to normal, and um, I've lost a few, I've lost many subscribers, but the good thing is, is I've gained some really wonderful subscribers, and also people who, for whatever reason, may not have felt comfortable leaving comments before, well, they're now kind of leaving comments, so that also warms my heart and makes me very, very happy, and I, me personally, I feel better going down into my own comments section now because it just kind of seems, I don't know, um, warmer, more like family. Uh, I don't have to be quite as fearful of what I'm going to find anymore because I think sometimes, you know, just so, not everybody meshes. And so I think what I've got going on right now on this channel is meshing for me and it's making me feel really, really good. So anyhow, let's get this day started. I don't know what kind of day it's going to be today, but all I know is I watched Pure American Glory. She went out to her watermelon patch and harvested a big, huge watermelon. So I'm going to go harvest my, well, my last remaining. I've got a couple small ones. I've got one watermelon that's eh, kind of kind of small, but these are a small kind of watermelon. But uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to go pick it and see what's going on inside of it. Here it is. Look at this vine. There is essentially no vine left. We got a little yellow on it, and <laughs> there's no vine. So, oh, look it, look it, squash bug, get out of here. So, 
Uh, 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 yep, that came off. Not very big, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this off. I'm going to put it in the ice chest and see if I can chill it. And hopefully it's nice and red and juicy and sweet on the inside. Dang it. I ran into my red Cuban L plant and this fell off. But look it. Look it. I still got so much going on. I went ahead and picked these two little peppers. They're not ripe yet, but that's okay. They'll still taste good. Look at that big, huge one. It's starting to turn red just a little bit. And I cannot believe it. There are more and more peppers coming on this plant, and I've been doing nothing with it. So let me get this uh, watermelon inside and see what's going on inside of it. You know what? I'm going to grab these two because they're not going to grow any bigger. The vine is basically dead. So I'm going to grab them and see what they look like on the inside. You know what? I just picked two tomatoes yesterday. I've got another couple that are becoming red. I think I'm going to leave them on the vine a little bit longer. But these tomato plants just keep going and going and going. I can't believe it. Weird. Oh, and I know most of you are tired of hearing me talking about mushrooms, but I found a huge puffball mushroom over on Mr. Lucas' property, and he let me take it home, so that's going to be dinner tonight. And you know something else is freaking me out? This uh, cayenne red pepper plant that I thought was toast because of caterpillars, it is starting to come back, and leaves are coming back, little peppers are growing, I've got another couple peppers down here. It looks pretty sickly, but it is still going. Yeah, green bell peppers, not very big, but I haven't fertilized it in a while. It's still going. You know what else? I think I am going to pick one of these eggplant. They could be a little bit bigger. I don't know how much bigger they're going to get. I think I'm going to pick one and add it to tonight's dinner with the mushroom. Look at that. Those are my little turnips. This is the first bucket of turnips I, I planted, and they're doing worse. So I don't know what I did wrong with that bucket. This is doing okay. <laughs> Not as big as I had hoped they would be, but that's okay. Look at my cute little baby harvest. I got a little tiny baby harvest. It's better than nothing. Look at all those delicious vegetables that either came from my land or surrounding land. Look at that huge puffball mushroom. I cannot wait to chop that up, saute it in some ghee and add it to a pot with all this other stuff. I'm going to chop up those peppers and the eggplant. And Yep, I got a little cayenne red pepper that I dried out. I'm going to chop that up and add it to some chanterelles, a tomato, and some wild greens. I had picked some wild greens earlier because I wanted a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. I had everything else except for the lettuce, so I pick some wild greens those are a little bit wilted but that's okay they're just gonna go into a pot so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some chicken and I'm gonna throw that in there and I'm gonna maybe put some rice in there too and a bunch of spices and seasonings and some turmeric and this is going to be a delicious dinner tonight oh my goodness okay this has been in the ice chest freezing so I'm going to cut this sucker open and see what it looks like on the inside. Hopefully it's sweet. Hopefully it's red. Oh, look at that, you guys. This is much redder than the first one. So I'm going to take a little taste. Here, let me switch hands. I should have got the tripod for this, but I didn't. All right, let me see if I can do this without dropping it. Now this is the sweet, I don't know what they call them, the sweet something or other. Uh, and they are generally a smaller watermelon. Hang on, let me just get a bite and taste it. Here we go, you guys. Hopefully it's gonna taste good. Please let it taste good. Mmm. That tastes really good. Mm-hmm. I am gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> and then I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the rest to the chickens. And I'm going to open up these other two little ones just to see what they look like on the inside. Yep, that's the smallest one. I figured that was going to look like that. But look at this. This one actually looks pretty ripe. I'm going to taste it. And it is sweet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going to give this little one to the baby chickens. And then the bigger ones to the bigger chickens. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm going to sit here and eat this whole watermelon right now. 
Oops, it's hard to do this and film at the same time. Mmm. Very sweet. You know what, though? I am not going to be growing watermelon next year. Too much water. Too much of a plant sprawling all over the place. And you only get a couple watermelons. Mmm. But, that's delicious. Would you look at that? Yup, it all fits. And I did put their watermelon, one here and one there. They love to go underneath here. They love to come out here. I've got their food and water over there. I've got this box up here because the big chickens like to get up on top of there and kind of roost and whatnot. And I don't want them perching there and pooping into their food and water and stuff. So I've got this elevated a little bit. But the girls seem to like going in here. So, yes, indeed. Hi, baby chickens. You are so beautiful. Look at you. I'm going to get them outside a little bit later. And then I'm going to have to make the decision of if it's going to be warm enough in this van. Because I can't attach a heat source right now. Now, I'm in this van right now, and it is substantially warmer in here than it is outside. It's a little bit cool outside, excuse me, right now. And it is warm, warm enough to make me feel like I need to sweat right now. So I may even open that back door just to get a little bit more airflow for these beautiful ladies. But I got to decide because it's going to drop down, I don't know, 60 or so. Maybe, maybe just below 60 tonight. I don't know. Well, hello. You're so beautiful. You love, love, love your watermelon, don't you? Yes, they do. I think we've got another one right over here, just kind of chilling out a little bit. Yep, in the shade. They like to go underneath there and chill out. They like to go up underneath the little ramp and just come chill out. Everybody's doing really, really good. <sighs> well, I'm just out here kind of looking around at the area that Judy can get to and uh, I see several deep holes that she has dug. So I need to go get those filled back in because if uh, Mr. Lucas comes with his lawnmower and tries to go over them, I don't want him to, you know, have any troubles and whatnot. So I need to figure out how to get her to stop doing that. So this video has gotten long enough. I've got a few more things i got to get done today, but uh, maybe, maybe we'll save them for another time. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.